Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sealer Janda, and this is my Let's Play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We remain at war with France as we get into the end of 1925 here. There's been, what, five? Five, I think? Vicious battles in the Caribbean between our light cruisers and destroyers. We've both taken a lot of losses. We've maybe just edged it out in the end. And I'm currently moving a bunch of reinforcements, newly completed ships from our east coast down into the Caribbean. And we're going to try to finally bully France out of the Antilles. Uh, so that we can head over to Southeast Asia a little more properly and start annexing French Indochina. Oh... Okay, finally they've begun declining cruiser actions. That could be decisive as far as us actually taking the Antilles goes. We kick them out. It's really only Britain that threatens any of the American seaboards at all, so that's uh, definitely a good step. French medium bomber carries one bomb, speed 84, I think that's miles an hour. Not impressive. Uh, the Republic Sentinel B has a good deal more range, that's good. There are still raiders running around in the Caribbean, but uh, we managed to sink one of the enemy subs, though. They don't have a whole lot. Let's put it this way, for whatever trade warfare they're engaged in, it's not giving them anywhere near as many VP as they're losing from declining battles. Oh, hey! Their entire battle fleet has suddenly moved into the Caribbean. Um, well, not their entire battle fleet, actually. They still have another seven battleships sitting back in France, but uh, they got a lot of heavies here now. On the other hand, their light forces, well, they don't have any battle cruisers, and their light forces are rather outgunned. What are we doing for construction right now? We're building four Junos, four Illinois, and enough wind slows, I think, to get the fleet back up to 60 or 70. It was probably 60 after I decommissioned the last of the four, uh, 900 tonners, right? Uh, sorry, it's been a little while for me, um, as you on Twitch know, but uh, since the last recording session. The only piece are really losing speed, huh? Well, they're due to be decommissioned as soon as the last as this war's over, anyway. Mm, so should I spend this money on anything? Is the real question. More docks. The obsession cannot stop. <laughs> oh yes, per request, I was going to rename this to uh, no, not that. Whoopsies. Yeah, I know. I was going to rename this vessel to... Where the hell's the rename button? Why is this so hard to find? There we go. Bumblebee, I believe. Very good. Probably a better ship name, really. Alright, so should I shove more battleships hastily into the Caribbean? I really can't. They're mostly kind of scattered. Where are all of them? Central and Southeast Asia, mostly, yeah. Although I have an Oregon in the Caribbean, apparently, which is a weird choice. That's rather old. I guess I just shoved all my Kentuckys into Southeast Asia. We'll see. If it comes to a fleet engagement, we'll see how it goes. Action with light forces. Battle in support of land combat. We can ambush an enemy force. Okay. Well, we have Junos and our most modern destroyers here now, so hopefully... Hopefully we can pretty much finish off the French light forces. Sorry, I had the, some spots on my glasses. Okay, so what do we have? We have Spokane and Fresno, which I think are both Juno class. Yeah, two of the newly arrived ships. 
and five total destroyers, which these are all 1,600 ton Henleys with five inch guns. And uh, I don't know if they actually all are. I didn't really check. Yes, they are. Uh, five inch guns and 12 torpedo tubes. These are the 1,900 ton Winslows with eight five inch guns, even though they only have four, eight torpedo tubes. So, assuming the force we're actually fighting is comparable, we should win. But we don't have so many ships as for me to be confident we'll outnumber them. So, we'll see. Um, where did we spot an unknown ship? Oh, it's, 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 it's crashing into this point. Okay. Hey, game, that ship has grounded itself. <laughs> oh, it's going the other way. That's almost weirder. All right, we've got, um, one four-bean class light cruiser. Well, this is their smaller type. They haven't run out of Ely class, I don't think. No, they still have two, Ely herself and Cosmo, but uh, apparently they've resorted to moving the Forbeen class in, which means, well, two less heavy guns and better armor, allegedly, but less speed. Uh, these are not as dangerous, or they shouldn't be. Especially as they don't have the deck torpedo tubes that they put on uh, this class. So there's no chance of us getting just wrecked. So basically, we're going to try to stay... Our biggest advantage is gunnery, which I know, but I probably wasn't emphasizing enough before. Because I wanted decisive results, but... Um, we're going to stay at a pretty decent range and just try to hammer these idiots into oblivion, which we should be able to do pretty comfortably, because if it's really just two four-bin class cruisers, we have, what, double? Yeah, more than double their firepower in a gunnery engagement. What? Is this... Okay, you'll forgive me for being a little confused by that, because apparently this destroyer division is my flagship division, and these are not the lead formation. Why that is, I have literally not the slightest idea. However, I would appreciate if they would get into sighting range before they get torpedoed. Can I please have these back? Thank you. Um, I guess we'll chase this cruiser, since it's closer. I, ouch. Took a bunch of hits right when we turned there. Okay, so I need to make sure these destroyers stay close, since apparently they're the flag division for some reason. And, yeah, I mean, if we only sink one out of the two cruisers, that's fine. I, they seem to have pretty much scattered, so... What's that? And it's running away, so... Probably a destroyer. Uh, yeah, if we only sink one out of two, that's maybe inevitable. Unless, you know, the other one comes back to try to rescue this one. And that's totally acceptable to me. Okay, the destroyers are in close proximity now. Let's just go ahead and flatten this guy. If we can actually land some hits, you know, but... Uh... He doesn't have deck torpedo tubes, so we should be able to get in a little closer if necessary. Probably. Ow. 
this destroyer. I usually like to leave my destroyers under AI control unless I'm actively telling them to do something, but uh, apparently these have got to be not that way. Hmm. Where? Okay. Let's just make sure there wasn't any other weird geography in the area. I'm surprised we haven't damaged this thing a little more by now, but maybe it's worse than it looks. Apparently we fired 50% of our ammo at it, so that's a concern. Yes, I gathered that. Okay, let's see if we can just get a good pass here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, chase. Oh, I wonder if this point, if if at this point, my destroyers would have any luck just torpedoing her. Seems like she's wallowing a little. Nope. Critical hit to Aelwyn. Maybe got a little over aggressive. On the other hand, all these five-inch guns that these destroyers have, they're not even. Wildly enough, I mean, they are outgunned by this cruiser, but not by that much. I mean, this cruiser only has four six-inch and two three-inch guns. All these destroyers have four five-inch guns. They're just flimsier due to being smaller, of course, but... Dodged the first torpedo, but uh, you guys do have 12 torpedo tubes your way, right? You could launch more than one at a time, probably. Or not. There we go. I think she's probably dead, to be honest with you. Let's chase um, whatever this thing is. Yeah, she's dead. I don't know what this is. It's been just hovering over there. I think it's probably a destroyer that ran away. Um, yeah. If we're lucky, maybe we can kill it before it gets into port. Doesn't look like we're going to be lucky, but, you know. Gotta try. Now there she goes. Okay, let's just cruise out of here then. It's unlikely we'll actually manage to sink her without her just going into port, so... If everybody would just... Cruise this way. Well, that should be a small but pretty clearly victorious battle. Mm, whatever that is might be damaged. Maybe we should go try to finish it off. I don't know, it's just not making much speed, whatever it is, so... And it's kind of creeping along the coastline. Well, I might have cut it a little too close on those. What unknown ship? Oh. There's still that whole force. Well, we're low on ammo. I'm just going to chase whatever this isolate thing is. Because I'm not sure we'd be able to sink the other cruiser without running out of ammo. No, it wasn't even damaged. It was just going slow for no reason. Whoa. 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 Hmm. I think 
I don't know if it's actually syncing, to be honest with you. I'm surprised it didn't come out of fast forward mode when I got the first hit. But... That's because of the dual purpose guns, by the way. Alright, now it's dead. Yep. Alright. Yep. Away with us. All right, that's a pretty comfortable win then, should be. One French cruiser and two destroyers dead, and I don't believe we've lost anything. Only one destroyer dead. Just the other one? Did I not sink one before? Okay, well. We sank Fanfare, which I think was late in the battle. Yeah, if the battle started way back then, then yeah. That was the one we shot up on the coast just a minute ago, and we sank the 4 beam class cruiser Surkoff, which was sinking from the first torpedo, but... Uh, yeah, alright. Well done. Very straightforward win for us. Russian naval patrol aircraft. That's a big combat radius. I'm impressed by that. Still struggling with oxygen fueled torpedoes. The Russians have a big medium bomber. They're still raiding things. They're not really getting very much VP out of that compared to what they're losing from getting their asses kicked in the Caribbean now. Hmm. They moved a battleship out. That's fine. couple more months and we'll have four more Junos ready to go. All the rest won't be ready by the end of the war, but that's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. January of 1926. Fleet battle over the French Antilles. I'm really not sure that a French government would realistically go for this, to be honest, but um, I do. I guess I do, actually, yeah, now that you mention it. Um, we have the light carrier San Diego, uh, carrying, somebody told me how to fix this, but I didn't bother to do it for her yet. Oh yeah, here it is, order an airstrike. We have six torpedo bombers available to us. The odds of them actually landing a hit are pretty minimal, but we'll see what happens. And then we have... Four battleships, five heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, a whole bunch of destroyers, and also the battle cruiser scouting force with four battle cruisers and their own uh, seven destroyers. Now, if the French really have eight battleships in theater, to be fair, we're going to be a little bit dependent on our battle cruisers to fight this. On the other hand, Frankly, I armor my battle cruisers almost as much as most of the AI armor their battleships, so we'll see. Alright, let's run it until we run into them. Do they have... I don't think they did have any significant air on these. Although we've been spotted by enemy aircraft, which is bad. I guess I should set up a... Um, hold on. Fighters... Yeah, um, what's the right button here? Handle cap. Um, interesting, okay, so there is one by default. I'll just set it to heavy, I guess, and it should be in that direction. It's kind of hard to judge. We only have eight fighters, so I don't know what a heavy cap looks like exactly. What have we spotted? Oh, God, are they doing some stupid navigational thing with this uh, the French are they're, they're screwing this island aren't they <laughs> okay the fact that they're firing on us at the maximum range of our battle cruisers tells me that there's battleships down here because only heavy guns can fire that far so let's get up 
to speed right away and turn towards the rest of the fleet. The scouting force has done its job. Time to get out of here. Maybe out in the open ocean, the French will be less inclined to embrace their perversions with this island and actually fight us. Yeah, that's a battle line down there. Is that an actual battle cruiser or just a misidentified battleship, you think? I don't know, but I know that we should not be fighting them with just the four battle cruisers. So let's turn a little bit further away. Yeah, we're landing hits, but uh, on whatever this lead ship is. But uh, oh yeah, you guys. First of all, way too many of you are independent. Actually, I don't really need. You guys just attach yourselves as support forces for now. And I will detach you as necessary. You, in particular... Oh, you are attached to the first battle division. Then just get behind it. Okay. Everybody up to maximum speed, and we need to rendezvous with them. San Diego, maybe you head north. Try to be not in this battle. It's actually, you know, what's interesting is how well they seem to be keeping up as a fleet with our battle cruisers here. Yeah, these are all Paris-class battleships. They only make 24 knots. We should be running away a little better. Four-inch deck. That's going to be a big difference at this sort of... Well, actually... Where's my data? Um, do I, I, I can't look at it while we're in here, I don't think. Oh, yes, I can. I just have to look at... Um, what was the range? Like 18,000 yards? We should penetrate their belts easily. Deck, however... They might have a zone of immunity where they can penetrate us better than them at this range, yeah. Well, especially our 14-inch uh, guns won't be as good. These all... All these Paris-class ships have 16-inch guns, depending how many are here. I think they have four total. They have three total of the newest ones, but they do have uh, seven battleships with 16-inch guns, so that's... nothing to take lightly. 30 nautical miles. Well, it won't be too, too long before our fleet's here, but... Uh, Maybe we'll even catch them off guard. What are we reporting? Their carrier is down here. I kind of believe it, because it's aerial scouting, and they'll actually maybe tell us, but... Um, I'd like to just send something to go sink it, but I don't think, if I detach things, that they'll stop after they get out of sight range of my... Um, flagship, unfortunately. They're not actually, I mean, they've gotten more, uh, it's probably about even so far, which is not ideal for them, considering how um, outgunned we are. And here comes the fleet. Alright, not quite sure what Oregon's doing. I think I'm going to have to just take independent control of her, which is fine. First battle division, prepare for a firing pass. And we've opened fire. Fantastic. You two, turn around. Oh, they're turning like this. They want to cross my T. Okay. I mean, not okay, but... If that's what you want to do, then let's see how you feel about this. Yep, 
Yeah, now whose T is being crossed, you little bastards. Okay, I don't appreciate that they're within 8,000 yards of me now, though. Um, hey, destroyers. Maybe, um... Discourage them a little. Good god. That's a lot of hits. So a lot of them, at least five, five large caliber gun hits on one of those battleships. This run, this tick. That's gonna hurt. And okay, before they start racking up a ton of hits on the battlecruisers, turn away. Oof, Saratoga just lost her bridge. They are turning away to dodge that whole spread of torpedoes, though. Well done, destroyers. I don't know if he's going to pull it off, either. Nope. That's one torpedo hit. Uh, dreadnoughts. Hard to port. Oof. I think Saratoga is just not obeying orders because she's lost the bridge, yeah. Everybody. Back to... Oh. Uh, okay, they're getting separated because Saratoga has bridge damage and... Apparently, Ranger has engine damage. Oh, well. Uh, one of their very nicest dreadnoughts is crippled right there, and oh god, Oregon. Um, just, no. Up here, little buddy. Holy cow, we're s just sort of spamming torpedoes in their direction now. Is this the destroyer division? Yeah, back into line, please. Same with you. Alright, yeah, I really would not want to be that Paris-class battleship. And most of their fleet is... How good is the Charles Martel-class? Oh, these are older dreadnoughts, though, actually. They didn't bring only their 16-inch ones. These... The Voltaire is nice, but... Um... The Charles Martel class are not great. I mean, they're 14-inch gun battleships, which is good because, I mean, I only have four battleships, one of which is the rather old Oregon, and four battle cruisers, which are nice, but still not quite the same as actual battleships, you know? Holy hell. That's a lot of torpedoes closing in on Paris. Wouldn't want to be her. Oh, I, I knew there were more here, yeah. That's what? Four, twelve, fourteen or something torpedoes in the water right now? Now watch, as they all miraculously miss. One of them's about to hit USS Tucker. Wow, she dodged. Great job. Alright, one hit. Two hits on a stationary target from fourteen torpedoes. Honestly, I'll take it. Um, and the other Paris down here is apparently hit pretty bad, too. I, right now I'm looking at, like, a war-winning battle scenario, frankly. I think the French have really, really f fucked up here. <laughs> oh, they are? I'm so scared. Um, there's no way that they have, I think they have one light carrier here. In fact, they only have one. It has 28 aircraft. Best, or worst case, they have maybe a dozen, slightly more bombers of some sort. Oh, in fact, I can see. It's um, six torpedo bombers. To be fair, I shouldn't be so like lackadaisical about it, especially since hardly any of my ships have any sort of... Uh, Hardly any of them have any sort of real AA. But it's six 1925 torpedo bombers. They're biplanes. They're very unlikely to do anything devastating. Although I don't know where, you know, my alleged fighter cover is, but um, to be fair, I've, I've let San Diego get a little far away from the fleet here. 
I know it doesn't even... I mean, there's 50 nautical miles. The problem with that is... Um, is that these fighters only have a range of... I don't remember, but it's very, very small. It's probably under 100 miles, so that's the issue with that. Yeah, apparently I have no way to look at that exactly in here. Or at least I don't know the way, but... Um, it's not high. Yeah. They went for the destroyer in USS Cunningham. That's probably not the brightest target to go for. Also, it looks to me like they're actually going for the destroyer Kimberly, but, you know. Oh, two of them went for New Jersey. That's a better target choice, at least. Um, where's, that's the one Paris, which we've probably killed. This other Paris is, just claims to be sinking, although I don't necessarily, just because the game says it's sinking does not actually mean that it's sinking. But it's not in, fuck me. They, okay, alright. They actually managed to hit New Jersey with an aerial torpedo. My god. Somebody is so happy right now. I mean, to be fair, they're also not that happy because the flotation damage is basically irrelevant. It's not even going to slow her down, I don't think. But um, so still, some staff officer or some aviator who's obsessed with this concept is so delighted right now. That said, it's not, I mean, it's not an actual problem just slightly annoying at worst. Um, okay, we're going to cut in down this way, southeast, and see basically if we can go over after this Charles Martel and this Danton. I suspect that both of these Paris-class battleships are genuinely sinking now, which means that whatever this mess is, we've still got plenty of ammo, honestly, I don't believe... Let me do a quick check. Washington is literally on a hit. So is Minnesota. New Jersey took that one torpedo. It's not... I mean, she tanked it with ease. She's a 39,000 ton battleship. And it's a 1925 air heel torpedo. Saratoga has one turret out of op action. And I think is operating from her auxiliary bridge. But that's fine. No threat to the safety of the ship. Ranger has taken a couple of hits, and maybe has engine damage still. Oh, Splinter's perforate uptakes, and fire's extinguished, though, so... No, and there was an engine room hit. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, Yorktown and Constellation. Yorktown has taken one hit. Constellation has taken two hits. Yeah, all of our capital ships are... A-OK -okay right now. New Jersey is probably the worst off, and it's not anything I'm remotely concerned about. So, ammo permitting, we're going to go after these bastards, and we're going to... Oh, Oregon. Whoopsies. You barely count, honestly, at this point. She's taken one hit also, though. She's fine. Um, and ammo is... I mean, it's at above 50% for all the capital ships, right? Oh, yeah, 70, 80. Yeah. We're going to go after them, and we're going to see if we can sink more. We're just going to, you know, Trafalgar the French fleet right now, if we can. I don't know how so many of those torpedoes just missed that French battleship, but I don't care. I'm pretty sure she's dead anyway. Or she certainly will be after this close-range firing pass from three of our battleships. I think the rest of them are running. That's probably maybe the smart call right now. Although, you know, theoretically, they still have pretty much as much firepower as me. But, uh, well, not as much firepower anymore. Sure, Porter. Okay, so that's one of the Paris-class battleships that has slipped beneath the waves now. So that's a guaranteed kill. I... You'll forgive me for being fairly confident that this one is really dead at this point. I'm trying to figure out what that was, but it's just a destroyer. 
<laughs> My God, this is just uncalled for. I think she's dead, guys. I think I can tell them to... Maybe I can tell them to lay off a target. I can tell them to prioritize a different target, at least. But, um, it's fine. Always double tap. At this point, it's mostly our cruisers that are still shooting at her, which is probably doing nothing, but they don't have anything else to shoot at anyway, really, so... I believe our capital ships are refocusing on Charles Martel and Danton down there. And I just saw two 16-inch hits on the Charles Martel and the 14-inch on Danton. Charles Martel is a little is the outdated design, yeah. I mean, she's still a 30,000-ton battlecruiser with or battleship with three triple 14-inch guns, so three triple 14-inch turrets, nine guns. But her armor's not outstanding. Um, she's not going to last long in a fight with ours, I don't think. They really wallowed straight into the bait-and-switch with the battlecruisers that the Germans avoided at Jutland, huh? Just like, they didn't even come close to pulling off that whole fleet, turn around and disengage and run away. They just charged right into it, and their lead two ships got annihilated for it. Guys. Guys, stop. Come on. They're dead. Where even is it? Oh, it's back here at the back of the fleet now. They're so dead. I'd like to kill that uh, light carrier, but I'm pretty sure it's not still here. San Diego, you can cruise, probably. Well, probably southish now, yeah. I mean, it's... She's not even... Well, she's only 30 miles away. That should be close enough to operate aircraft. Well, I guess I could, just for the sake of it, uh, consider telling her to launch a torpedo strike. I don't think it would be super, you know, uh, successful. How do we only have one aircraft? What happened to the other torpedo bombers, San Diego? What, what happened to them? I wonder if it's using them as cap. Due to the, you know, horrific lack of other... Yeah, it is. It's using them as recon due to the horrific lack of other aircraft. Okay, well, um, why not, right? This single aircraft will... Oh, yes. How do I... I've done this before. There we are. Go on then, my brave, uh, brave fellow. You got this. I'm pretty sure he'll go now, but it's not, obviously it's a single torpedo bomber. He's not going to actually accomplish anything, but, uh, it's funny. All right, everybody. Let's hard to starboard. And don't mind that I just physically tried to turn myself around in order to figure that out. Chase after these guys. Yeah, we've got enough ammo still. I'm not worried about it. Not for the immediate time being. I mean, I shouldn't get too cocky either. There's still six French battleships in there, I believe, but, uh, Nope, go for it. I think they'll be back there-ish. Maybe there. I mean, there are three, three out of the six of the Charles Martel class with 14-inch guns now. Hmm. 
We're not landing a spectacular number of hits, although I should remember the range is 14,000 yards now. Ooh, torpedoes. Oh, crikey, there are a lot of French destroyers in that uh, inter-fleet area right now. Could we get... Um... It's not really that many. Oh, well. Could some of our destroyers please get in there and rouse them out a little? Oh. All right, sure. Actually, you'll do ish. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really turn to pursue until we've uh, chased these destroyers away a little, because they're well within attempted torpedo range, and I believe they already did attempt to torpedo range her, but missed. What? She's where? Ah, hell. Where the hell is Saratoga? Oh, good grief. Whoopsies. Um, okay, change of plans, folks. We're going to turn... around... and go make sure nothing unfortunate happens to Saratoga because we accidentally abandoned her. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, alright, that's good. Um, how bad is it, Ranger? It's a little worse for her. She's taking a lot of... Not that many heavy hits. I'm surprised she has three turrets out from just six hits. But, um... Oof. Well, that's unfortunate for her, but, uh... Oof. They really did get a lot of torpedoes off at us, apparently. I was not on that enough. Whew. That's that's a bit of luck actually, because she was in, she's not in great shape now. I wouldn't want her to get hit by another torpedo. Uh, yes, just abandon. Okay, bye, Kimberly. I believe that's the first ship we've lost all battle, so you know, maybe it ruins the perfect run or whatever. But um. <laughs> I think one destroyer is pretty acceptable against what we've cost the French today. Why the hell are you guys... Oh, this whole division is under independent command, isn't it? Get back here. The French destroyers are gone now. Okay, the good news is we've reunited with Saratoga without any particular incident. Although, apparently, she's struggling to only make 19 knots right now. I don't know why. I guess an engine hit? Huh. Um, the enemy are really sort of just retiring to the south now. Oh, boy. Here she comes. The single torpedo bomber. That could... <laughs> um, right, Ranger. Not loving that. Why don't you go ahead and... Make your way home. Everybody else should be pretty much fine still. Although we're low on ammo now, but uh, that's alright. Almost inevitably, they have to be a little low on ammo also. Although, this part of their fleet hasn't really engaged much. I guess the real issue is that they're pretty much just running away. And I don't have much, any good way to catch them. Is that... No, that's Kimberly. She's dying. Where'd Ranger go? There she is. Where's the nearest base that she's headed for? Puerto Rico, you would think. Oh boy, one Boeing Crusader C is approaching enemy ships. I mean, if this torpedo bomber actually hits something, that will be hysterical. She tried. She targeted a destroyer. 
Oh. She tried to bomb our destroyer, Smith. Well, good effort. <laughs> Looks like Smith avoided it. And that's, uh, that's how 1925 naval air tends to actually work. Okay, um, I, have they just gone straight south? I really didn't think they would entirely leave our, uh, sight, but, um, well. See, honestly, I think I have no problem at all with resuming the battle with my battleships, though. We're at about 50% ammo and almost undamaged. They call me crazy, but, um, I'm turning south and seeing if we can pursue them a little more. Carriers right here. Cranky. Although, actually, I do wonder with the... Uh, the dark is approaching very rapidly now, huh? Okay, fine. I'm not fucking around with torpedoes in the dark, considering what the French have achieved so far. I would assume that means that their aircraft have virtually no chance of hitting anything anymore. Not that they had a great chance anyway, but, um... I thought they were approaching San Diego, not Brooklyn, but whatever. Yeah, everybody, cruising speed, head north. We are done for today, and you know what? It's been a pretty spectacular victory, really. I don't know if this will, you know... I don't know how much longer it's going to take us to actually take the damned French Antilles, which, honestly, I'm pretty sure the invasion itself was, like, more than six months ago. How well dug in are they on this little chain of islands? But, regardless... This has been a huge blow to the French fleet if I really just sank two Paris-class dreadnoughts. Oh my god, where are you going, Oregon? Come back! Stop that! Turn around! Oh god. Well, hopefully they don't run into the French in the night, and the problem is they're going the way the French did, so... If I had to guess, the French ran to Fort de France, though, so it's probably fine. Can I give you this order, even from here? Huh, you know I can. Oh, no. Apparently you have to be damaged to detach. So she's just gonna keep on... ...doing that. Carrier's getting a little left behind, I think it's just... The oh no, I did forget to tell you to go down to cruising speed. Alright. That'll pretty much be that. I... what on earth? What on earth? Oh, a submarine? You bastard. Where is the destroyer, Robinson? Mm. Oh, she's way the hell over here. Getting pretty much what happens to ships that randomly go way the hell off from the main group. Oh well, it was just a destroyer. I mean, not one member of her crew is going to survive. Uh, under these circumstances, but, uh, what can you do? Hey, Oregon actually turned around and is coming this way now. What is this group? Oh, that's the other battlecruiser division. We're a little scattered now, but it's fine. I really don't expect any further combat. I'm not even sure why it keeps stopping the game, honestly. Like, there's not even any events coming up. And there we are. Yeah, so the sum total of the day is that we lost 
unfortunately, the destroyers USS Kimberly and USS Robinson. One torpedo managed to hit Kimberly, and a submarine torpedoed Robinson. And those are both, unfortunately, 1,900-ton brand-new sub uh, destroyers, so that is, you know, not great, but... Where's their CVL? Is it much bigger than mine, or... Or does it not actually exist? Oh, there it is. Hmm. I don't know why it's so far down on the list. I guess I'll stall the French ships are. That are undamaged. Anyway, aside from that... No more than minor damage to pretty much the entire rest of their fleet. Honestly, only light damage to almost all my ships. Ranger, I think, is the worst. And then for USS Kimberly and Robinson, we managed to sink the battleships France and Paris, uh, both 34,500-ton dreadnoughts, the very latest in the French fleet. Um... Five torpedoes to France, three to Perry. She was hit by, not doing the math, something on the order of, you know, almost 500 different shells, including almost 100 battleship caliber shells. Only 300 and something for France, but also five torpedoes. Yeah. The French fleet came into this battle with, well, they had eight here. I think they had... Maybe like, let me see, 13? They might have actually had 15 battleships prior to this battle. Yeah, because two of them have been deleted from the list now. So they came into this with 15 battleships. They just lost two out of the three most modern. Marie Galante. Sure. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.